Today's lesson is called Triangle Inequalities. The first thing that we're going to figure out is if you could make a triangle or not given different lengths of sides. So in order to figure this out, we're going to need to know the Triangle Inequality Theorem. In order for a triangle to be constructed, the sum of any two sides must be greater than or more than the third side. So if the sides are two, two, and two, we're going to start over here in this column. We're going to do this first and then this second and this third, then this fourth, and last we'll do this. Okay, so we want to do the sum of the shorter sides. All the sides are the same here, so we can add any two. So I'll go two plus two gives me four. So then the third side, uh, the larger side, which they're all the same, is going to be two. So is the sum of the shorter sides greater than, less than, or equal to the larger side. Well, four is greater than two. So could a triangle be made? If the sum of any two sides is greater than the third side, then yes, a triangle could be made. So the answer here would be yes. If all three sides have the same length, we can classify the triangle as scalene, isosceles, or equilateral. That would be equilateral. We learned those words back earlier this school year. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Add the two shorter sides. The two shorter sides here would be two and two. So that makes four. Then the largest side is three. Four is greater than three. So could a triangle be made? Yes. And if two sides are the same, we would call it isosceles. All right, add the two shorter sides here. Two plus three equals five. Five is greater than that last side of four. So could we make a triangle? Yes, we could. What kind of triangle would it be? Well, if all three sides are different, we would call that a scalene triangle. All right, add the two shorter sides here. Two plus three is five. The larger side is five. Five is equal to five. So can we make a triangle if the sum of the two shorter sides is equal to the larger side? No, we cannot. So we don't need to name it if you can't make a triangle. All right, let's look at the next one. The two shorter sides are two and three. Add those together, you get five. The longest side is six. Five is less than six. If you add the two shorter sides and you get something that's less than the longest side, then no, you cannot make a triangle. So we don't need to name that one. All right, the next one. We have three and four are the two shorter sides. Those add up to make seven. And seven is greater than five. So can we make a triangle? Yes, we can. What kind of triangle will it be? All three sides are different lengths, so we call that a scalene triangle. The next one, the two shorter sides are three and three. Three plus three equals six. The largest side is six. Those are equal, so no, we cannot make a triangle and we don't need to name it. Okay, we have another equilateral triangle here. All three sides are the same. Three plus three is six. The largest side is three. Six is greater than three, so yes, we can make a triangle and we would call it equilateral. All three sides are the same length. Three, three, and four. Add the two shorter sides. Three plus three is six, and the, the biggest side is four. Six is greater than four, so yes, this can be a triangle. And since two sides are the same, we would call it an isosceles triangle. And on this last one, the two shorter sides are three and five. Three plus five is eight. The biggest side is six. Eight is greater than six. So yes, this makes a triangle. And since all three numbers are different, 
we would call this a scalene triangle. Okay, now that we have gone through several examples together, I want you to pause your video and try these five at the bottom on your own. It says determine if the following sides will make a triangle and if yes, then classify the triangle by its sides, scalene, isosceles, or equilateral. So give those a try and then play the video to see if you got it right. Okay, hopefully you've done that. Eight plus nine is 17, which is bigger than 10. So yes, this is a scalene triangle. One plus one is two. Two equals two, so no, that one doesn't make a triangle. Six plus six is 12. 12 is greater than 10, so yes, this one makes an isosceles triangle. Three plus five is eight. Eight is greater than seven, so yes, this one makes a scalene triangle. Four plus four is eight. Eight is greater than four, so yes, this makes an equilateral triangle. Okay, hopefully you did really good on this. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about, oops, I needed to mention this at the bottom. I skipped right over it. We have in the box a very important piece of information. In a triangle, the largest side is opposite the largest angle, and the smallest side is opposite the smallest angle. So let's say I have an obtuse triangle here. Let's say I have a 100 degree angle here. Let's say this is a 30 degree angle, and this is a 50 degree angle. The biggest angle will be across from the largest side. The middle angle will be across from the medium side. And the tiniest angle will be across from the smallest side. Okay? So we're going to use that fact to help us on some other problems. Okay, so it says angle A is 120 degrees, angle B is 40 degrees, and angle C is 20 degrees. So which one is the largest side? Well, you'll find it by going across from the largest angle. So it's BC, the side that connects point B to point C is the largest side. The smallest side will be across from the tiniest angle. The tiniest angle is 20. So across from the 20 is the shortest side from B to A. Connecting B to A is your shortest side. Smallest side across from smallest angle longest side across from largest angle. All right, this one says classify the triangle by its sides, then list the angles from small to large. So this triangle has side lengths all three different. So we would classify it as a scalene triangle. And the angles small, medium, and large. So the smallest angle will be the one across from the shortest side. The shortest side is this nine. So that smallest angle would be B. The medium angle would be across from the middle number. 12 is the middle number here. So that would be angle C. 15 is the biggest and it's across from angle A. So angle A would have to be the largest angle. Okay, you ready to do an algebra problem? I bet you are. Okay, it says list the sides of triangle ABC in order from shortest, oh, I'm sorry, in order from longest to shortest. That's important. We need to make sure we have the long, the medium, and then the short. So pay attention to the order because they don't always do them the same. Longest to shortest, if the angles of triangle ABC have the indicated measures. Okay, I don't really know what kind of triangle we have here. So I'm gonna say I know all three of these should add up to 180 because the three angles of any triangle add up to 180. So 10X plus 5X minus 17 plus 7X minus one equals 180, okay? 
So we're going to combine like terms. 10x plus 5x plus 7x. 17 and 5 more makes 22x. Now let's do the regular numbers. Negative 17 and negative 1 makes negative 18. So we'll get the x by itself. Add 18 to both sides. 22x equals 198. Divide by 22 on both sides. x equals 9. So we know what x is now. Now we need to figure out how big each... Okay, so now I need to figure out how big each angle is. The measure of angle A is 10x. So since I know x is 9, 10 times 9 equals 90. That means we have a right triangle because we have a 90 degree angle. The measure of angle B is 5x minus 17. So we do 5 times 9, which is 45. Minus 17 equals 28 degrees. And last, the measure of angle C is 7x minus 1. So we do 7 times 9 minus 1. That's 63 minus 1 is 62 degrees. So the best thing to do now is to sketch a picture of the triangle. We know it's a right triangle and that the 90 degree angle is angle A. Then the next biggest angle is the 62 degree angle, which is angle C. And the smallest angle is 28, and that is angle B. So we're supposed to list the sides in order from longest to shortest. So the side that is the longest one is gonna be the one across from the biggest angle. Angle A is the biggest angle, so the side from B to C is going to be the longest side. So B, C, is the longest side here. Now, the medium side is going to be the one across from the medium angle. So the medium one is going to be a B because our middle angle is 62, angle C. That goes across from the side AB. And the shortest side, of course, is the last one remaining. It's across from the 28 degree angle. So that's AC. That's our shortest side. Okay? That was a good problem. All right. Next, um, we're going to name the longest segment in each of the following triangles. Okay? So for this problem, they only gave us two angles. We're going to need to figure out the missing one in order to know the, the three angles measurements. So if I do 70 plus 65, I get 135. 180 minus 135 is 45. So this is a 45 degree angle. So which is the longest segment? Well, it's gonna be the one across from the biggest angle. The biggest angle is 70, so the biggest side would be BC. Now, on this next one, if I have a right angle in a triangle, it has to be the biggest angle. Both the other two have to be acute because um, the, together they make 90 degrees, so the total is 180. So my longest side here is also going to be the side BC. All right, just a few more. For this one, we're still naming the longest side. We're gonna add 40 plus 40 gives us 80. 180 minus 80 leaves us with 100. This is a 100 degree angle at A. So that's a lot, the biggest angle, which will be across from the longest side, which will be BC. We're getting that answer quite a bit. And here we have a 150 degree angle. An obtuse angle is for sure the biggest angle. So it's across from the side that's going to be the longest, and that is side AC. Okay, the next section says name the largest angle in each of the following. 
So to find the largest angle, first we need to figure out where the biggest side is. So look at these numbers. Which side is the biggest? 13 is the biggest side. So that's going to be across from this angle. Angle 1 is going to be the biggest angle. And which is the biggest side here? Well, we don't know what x is, but whatever x is, if I add 2 to it, it's bigger than x was. And if I add 4 to it, it's bigger than that was. So x plus 4 is the biggest side, and it's across from angle 3. So angle 3 will be the largest angle. All right, now we've got some more algebra to do. This says... List the sides of triangle ABC in order from longest to shortest if the angles of triangle ABC have the indicated measures. So we want long, medium, and short sides. So this is similar to the other algebra problem we did. We're going to take these three algebra expressions and add them together and they should equal x plus 20, 180. The three angles add up to 180. So let's combine the like terms. 5x plus 6x is 11x plus one more x makes 12x. 2 minus 10 is negative 8 plus 20 is 12. So we'll subtract 12 from both sides. 12x equals 168, divide by 12 on both sides, x equals 14. So now we need to figure out exactly what size each of these angles is if x is 14. So we'll do 5 times 14 plus 2 equals 72. 6 times 14 minus 10 equals 74. And 14 plus 20 equals 34. So if I draw my triangle, then we'll put the 74 degree angle here, the 72 degree angle here, the 34 degree angle here. Uh, A is the 72, B is the 74, and C is the 34. So I want the sides in order from longest to shortest. The longest side is going to be the one across from the biggest angle. So that's AC. The medium side is across from the medium angle, 72. So that's going to be BC. And last, the shortest side is going to be across from the smallest angle, 34. So that side AB. All right, I recommend that you press the pause button and try number 14, this last one here, on your own. And then play your video again to check and see if you got it right. All right, hopefully you got that done. We're going to have the long, the medium, and the short. You want to see real quick if you were on the right track? The longest is AB, the medium is BC, and the shortest is AC. And here's how I got that. X plus 16 plus x plus x plus 29 is equal to 180. Combine the like terms, x plus x plus x is 3x, and 16 plus 29 is equal to 45. Subtract 45 from both sides. 3x is equal to 135. Divide by 3 on both sides x equals 45. And now substitute that in to find out the size of each angle. 45 plus 16 equals 61 degrees. This one is just 45. And this one is 45 plus 29, which is 74. So if I draw my little triangle, 74, 61, 45, this is C, this is A, and this is B. The longest side is across from the 74. So there's the AB, long one. Medium is across from the 61. So that's BC, there's your medium one. 
from the smallest angles across from the shortest side, which is AC. Okay, that finishes that up. So hopefully you have a good understanding of the triangle inequalities. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Have a great day. Bye-bye.